Let's play a little game. Let me see if you can guess what musical performer I'm talking about. He sold over a billion albums, including 500 different songs, starred in 32 movies, 31 were actually hits. Have any idea yet? He's still immensely popular after his death in 1977. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking about who many consider the king of rock and roll. And here today in our studio is the number one tribute artist from New York, Lamar Peters. He's also the first tribute artist to honor Elvis at B.B. King's. In addition to that, he's in the top three from Elvis Presley Associates. And I can't wait for you to meet him. So you know what? Let's take it away. Here's Lamar Peters. Oh, wait. I mean, here's Elvis singing Blue Suede Shoes. Well, it's a one for the money, a two for the show, a three to get ready now, go, can't go, but don't you step on my blue suede shoes. Oh, you can do anything, but lay off of my blue suede shoes. Oh, you can knock me down, I step on my face, slam my name all over the place. I do anything that you want to do, but I, I hardly hope for them shoes. Now, don't you step on my blue suede shoes. I steal my car, trim my leg up on an old fruit job Do anything that you want to do But I, I hardly hope for them shoes Now don't you step on my blue suede shoes You can do anything but lay off of my blue suede shoes Oh, let's rock it now, go! Well, it's a one for the money, a two for the show, three to get ready, and I go, can't go, but don't you step on my blue suede shoes. You can do the thing, well, they hold for my blue suede shoes. Well, it's a uh, blue, 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 blue suede shoes. Blue, 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 blue suede shoes, yeah. Blue, blue, blue suede shoes, baby. Blue, 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 blue suede shoes. Well, you can do the thing, well, they hold for my blue Before we talk with you about your background and all the people you morph into, I want to talk a little bit about Elvis Presley. Before I heard somebody say, Elvis the pelvis. <laughs> That's what I grew up with. As a matter of fact, I can recall, and some of you at viewers can probably as well, when Elvis first performed on the Ed Sullivan show. Mm. I didn't know why everybody was screaming, but I started screaming. <laughs> I went to the movies to see Love Me Tender, and when my dad went to pick me up, I'll never forget this, he found me on the floor <laughs> with all the other girls screaming. My producer, his sister, actually went to an Elvis, uh, I guess it was a performance and she was hoarse for three days. Oh, wow. So let me ask you, why do you think there was such a great appeal for Elvis? Well, I, I tell you, um, first of all, I, I believe he was just a wonderful person inside and out, um, from, definitely from his music and his entertaining. Um, but uh, Elvis was, had a magnetism about him that uh, he could just touch each and every one's soul just by his you know, beautiful smile. You know. He was certainly controversial as well. Absolutely, I don't absolutely. think the likes of America had seen anything <laughs> like him before. It, it was different from, uh, you know, the old vaudeville days with the little violins and absolutely, little monkeys running around. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Now, there are some 100,000 Elvis impersonators. Mm -hmm. You are not an impersonator. You no. are what we call a tribute artist who's garnered quite a few awards in that area. What is the difference, if you could explain it to well, uh, if you ask uh, 10 different people, they'll give you 10 different opinions about it. Um, but uh, in my uh, appeal is, uh, I just do a tribute to Elvis. Um, 
to relive his, his music, his magic, uh, to the best of my ability. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not a spinning image. I'm not a, you know, carbon copy. I just want to represent Elvis in the best way, uh, to the best of my ability. And, uh, if you're an impersonator, maybe, you, you know, you may look more like him or you, you want to really recreate that. Yeah. But yeah, I just want to do my tribute, uh, to the That's best beautiful. of me. Yeah. Well, I do think you look quite like him. Oh, well, thank you. I think you <laughs> sound like him. Your nuances, your mannerisms, your expression. I went online and I saw some of your poses and I said, that is Elvis. Oh, well, thank so you. I said, but, but let's play a game, you and I. Sure. Let's see how well you I love do. games. I love them. Let's let's just see what you know about Elvis. Oh, here we go. All right, tell me. Let's let's start with five facts that many people don't know about Elvis. What would you say? Ah, uh, well, I tell you, if I, uh, one one of them is my favorite that he was a very spiritual man, um, mm -hmm. more spiritual than what you would think he would be for uh, being in the entertainment business. You know, it does have its ups and downs. So uh, that's one very spiritual, and I think uh, number m number two would be that. Elvis was a very uh, ingenious performer amongst being a performer because uh, he was doing things that nobody ever did before. So that, that in my opinion, is something, you know, the world should know okay. about Elvis Presley. Yeah. And let me ask you about, <laughs> well, let me ask you about his hair. Sure. We know that, of course, it was not black. He was no, it was, a, it was a dirty blonde. I kind of right, like brownish that. blonde <laughs> What did he do to make it so shiny? Do you know? Well, I think he took tar. No, I'm just no. kidding. <laughs> um, no. Uh, Elvis, uh, basically, you know, he went to the barber and, you know, uh, just I'm like anybody else. i tell you. He but used please. Vaseline and That's true. rose water. That I didn't know about the rose water. I'm telling Gail you. Gail King got me, man. Yeah. She got me. That's it. I quit. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Now, he had a crush on quite a few people, sure. and I am a lot older than you are, so I don't know if you would know of this, but he always had a thing for Anne Margaret. Okay. Okay. I think I did, too. I did, yeah, a lot of guys <laughs> But he also, and this is what I found interesting, he had a crush on the witch from Bewitched, Elizabeth Montgomery. Wow. Do you remember she used to do her nose? and da, 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 da. Exactly Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. And in addition to that, he was a Hall of Fame. He was a Hall of Famer in four different divisions. That's right. Go ahead. What I, are they? I believe it was for humanitarian. Well, uh, no, gospel music. Oh, what gospel, right, right. Music? Gospel music, country, uh, rhythm and blues, and I believe mm -hmm. pop. Yeah. Uh, what is it? It's called rockabilly. Rockabilly. How well, can you explain what is rockabilly? Well, like Elvis explained it in his yeah. 1968 comeback, uh, rhythm and blues. And a uh, soul is, is together, uh, and it forms like a rockabilly. It's like mm -hmm. that that uh, sound. Ah. So, which brings like a real. It, it tells a country story, but in a rock and roll way. I love it. So it's a combination. So that's why they call it rhythm and blues. So that's probably why it appealed to so many different Absolutely. people as Absolutely. well. I did not know that he was a distant cousin of two presidents. Did that, you? I know Lincoln. Absolutely good. And Jimmy Carter. That I didn't know. That surprised there. me. He also had so many different jobs. He was yeah. a truck driver. Mm -hmm. He worked in movie theaters. Mm -hmm. And the poor man just walked in his sleep. That surprised yes, me as well. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, is that people thought that he had wanted the guitar for his 11th birthday. But it wasn't so. Do you know what he really wanted? Well, I know, I, I believe, uh, when I went to Memphis, I think there was a story about him uh, going into a contest at nine years old mm -hmm. with the, the guitar's oh. mother guy for him. Right. And, uh, yeah, he that's, got that's that right. That's he a actually story. wanted a bicycle. Yeah, he did. But he and got where a was he actually born? Tupelo, Mississippi. You got it. So many people think it. You did really well, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> now, now we're going to get to know Lamar a little bit oh, better. Oh, wow. Lamar, you have this operatic background. Mm. You have been dancing since you're five years of age. You That's started right. performing with your dad at nine. And let me tell you about his father. I actually did see your dad on the Joe, well, the, Joe, the Franklin show. Joe Franklin Joe, show. It was Joe. Joe That's Franklin right. I always remember Joe Franklin with the hair slicked back. That's right. But your dad was on the show. That's right. But he also performed in Vegas. And Absolutely. he performed as? 
Elvis, Elvis Presley. Presley. Elvis Presley. That's right. That is incredible. Yeah. Now your brother, he changed his name to now, my, J. J. Yeah, we Burton? we we did something where uh, Elvis's guitarist name was uh, J. J. Uh, James Burton. Burton. So right. that's so cool. That's why we named him J. J. Because his actually real name is James, and right. the other J is Jet, like you're, you know you're playing on a guitar. Right. And uh, Burton, of course. Yeah, your brother is a great vocalist and guitarist. Yes. That's right. Right. Now your grandmother, I, I want to have her on too. That's Miss Marie. That's right. That's and right. she performs uh, the likes of Etta James, Connie mm -hmm. Francis, and one of the Supremes. Is that her too? Yeah, uh, she, she does a lot of, <laughs> lot of my film is very incredible. versatile with this stuff. Very versatile. So. And you pay tribute to some 90, 90, <laughs> I know, different performers That's right. in your gentleman show, which is a three hour show. That's right. Who was the most difficult, would you say, to actually do, and why was that so? I think the most difficult um, would be uh, Tom Jones because his voice was so oh. powerful. And when I when I do the show, like oh. I said, I'm a tribute artist. I'm not, you're not going to see me putting on you know outfit that tighter you look stuff. Like, right, my clothes right. are already tight on me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, basically, I think Tom and uh, uh, Josh Groban. Really? Yeah. How about Jerry Lee Lewis? Do you play the piano with your feet? I don't play with my feet, but I'll try with my teeth. No, no. Um, no, he, he's a little hard, too, but we, we get it going. Is Elvis your favorite? Uh, can't you tell? <laughs> I think I no, can. yeah, Elvis I is I uh, number one in my heart. Yeah, definitely. I love the fact that you have performed at so many different venues, and you actually had someone say to you, you should be on Broadway, huh. and your answer was? I always I feel think. like I'm on Broadway up here. Oh, that is beautiful yeah. because you're giving your heart, your soul, your passion, no matter if it's a large venue or a smaller venue. Share with everybody about Silver Cup. I thought that was great. Well, when I did the uh, Silver Cup Studios, uh, it was for the popular hit TV show Elementary, and uh, Lucy Liu is the star of that show, right. and she actually requested a young Elvis and I just so happen to be a young young Elvis. Uh, so, <laughs> young Elvis. So, <laughs> and uh, we had a wonderful time. She's a wonderful actress and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, a wonderful person. Yeah. You've also performed at some of my favorite places, Ohika Castle, oh, yeah. uh, Crest Hollow, oh, yeah. and the Harry Chapin Theater before 10,000 people. Yeah, Where can amazing. people find you? Well, they can go to my website at lamarpetershow.com. And... Uh, it's uh, it's you can find anything you want on me there, you know, all the good stuff. And once again, that website is lamarpetershow dot com. We'll get you on the mailing list. We'd love to have you at one of the shows, and I know you're going to be at one of my shows. I am March twenty third. I'm going to be at the Kidney Coalition of New York, and That's right. it's going to be held where. That's in Glendale, Queens. So people can still call in, write oh, in, and get absolutely. tickets for that. That's You can fabulous. get your tickets now while we're on this show. Just get That's to the it. phone. That's it. Right now. And you are a 2018 nominee for the best. They had impersonated it because they didn't know. That's right. For the five boroughs and as well as on Long Island. <laughs> That's so right. So you're going to sing one of my favorite songs, and it's by Mark Cohen. And you're also very spiritual. The song yes, is Walking in Memphis. Yeah, it's one of my favorite songs. Absolutely. So let's take it away. I put on the blue suede shoes and I boarded the plane Touched down in the land of the Delta Blues In the middle of the pouring rain WC and Won't you look down over me yeah, I've got a first class ticket, baby But I'm as blue as a boy can be And I'm walking in Memphis I was walking with my ten feet off a beer Walking in Memphis But do I really feel the way I feel? Saw the ghost of Elvis on Union Avenue, follow them up to the gates of Graceland. Then I watched him walk right through. Now security did not see him. They're just hovering around his tomb. But there's a pretty little thing waiting for the king down in the jungle room. Walking with my ten feet off a of beer, 
Catfish on the table They've got gospel in the air And Reverend Green Be glad to see you If you only need one prayer But boy you got a prayer in Memphis piano every Friday at the Hollywood and they brought me down to see her and they asked me if I would do a little know and I sang with all my mind she said tell me are you a Christian child I said ma'am I am tonight Oh, 
Canada. That's right. 